Welcome back to Blind Date. You know Missy Franklin. She's a centennial teenager who's about to explode on the world stage at the London Olympics. She has a chance to win seven medals, seven. But to her friends, she's just goober face. Here's ESPN's Jeremy Schapp. Having swimming and loving it with everything, every part of my being, I think that's what's made me me. I motivate myself with the love I have for my sport. I absolutely love swimming. I love my friends. I love my team. I love my coach. I love everything about it, and that is enough for me. I mean, being able to go to practice every day and loving what I'm doing, enjoying it, having a good time, that's really all I need. And then if I do get in those moments where it is a little bit tough, kind of going through a workout, I'm not feeling very good. And I picture myself back at Worlds and swimming in that pool. How much fun I had and looking back on all the great memories and those always make me happy and keep me going. Where does your competitiveness come from? I think a little bit from both my parents and I spark that in myself a lot when I get up to swim. Once it really gets down to the race, I focus on all the hard work that I've put in. All the months, the weeks, the doubles, all the exhausted days where I can't even move. Everything I've had to sacrifice to be there and know that I really do need to focus on what I'm doing. And it's really come down to this and that if I just go out there and have fun and race, which is what I love to do, then I will be able to accomplish my goals. It's taken me a while to be really comfortable with my height because growing up, I always just felt like the tall, awkward, gangly girl. Like I will never forget, like first grade, I had this huge crush on a boy and his friends were talking and he was like, yeah, well, she's way too tall. So <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, like little first grade me just freaking out. I'm proud of my height and I like wearing heels and being able to be like, hey, I'm 16 years old and I'm really tall. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm comfortable with it and I'm really happy that I am. So tell me about um, your feet. Let's, let's, talk about, <laughs> let's talk about your feet. I, All right. You know, because I mean, I gotta say, I mean, I've read a lot about they. If you, if I didn't know the numbers, they look like perfectly, you know, reasonable feet. To me. <laughs> Am I missing something? I'm glad you think so. Is it, um, is it the color? Does the, does the baby blue kind of slim have I think a maybe, effect? yeah. I've had definitely tried some different color socks, and baby blue always has the most slimming feature for me. Um, you know, have, you, have you always had big feet? I have always had big feet, no matter what. And I have never gotten over, like, walking into a shoe store and just being like, oh, those are cute. Probably come in, like, a size 6. All right, moving on. Like, just going in there and knowing the chances of anything fitting me in that store is, like, a hardcore zero, unless it's a men's shoe, has always been tough for me. When you think about the Olympics, what are the things that come to mind? When I think about the Olympics, I think about how much of an honor it is. I think there definitely will be a lot of pressure, but knowing that all the mental experiences that I've undergone so far, being able to kind of pull all of those out when I need them most, I think I'll be okay and I know that I have my family and my friends and my coach behind me no matter what, and that if I just do my best, there's nothing else I can ask for.